6 and the debate in a Miami federal courtroom today pitting environmental groups against the U.S. government and a developer. The question is whether a massive project should be allowed to go forward on sensitive land in southwest Miami-Dade. CBS 4's Gary Nelson outside the courthouse in downtown Miami with more. Gary. Well, this is a fight that's been going on for years and was extended last month when a federal judge issued a restraining order against this controversial development. The debate in court today, should that order be lifted or remain in place until a full hearing can be had? In Miami Federal Court Wednesday, the battle raged over the future of the Richmond Pine Rocklands, about 150 acres by Zoo Miami. A lot is at stake here. There's 22 endangered and threatened species on the property, and, um, and we are hopeful that we can continue to stop those bulldozers until the merits of our case have been heard. Environmental groups have for the moment blocked the bulldozers that would see a Walmart, huge box stores, and 900 apartments go up on the land that's home to beetles, snakes, bats, some plants and animals found nowhere else on earth. Project opponents say the Interior Department essentially rubber stamped the developers' plans. A lot of this was done behind closed doors, completely out of public view. We demanded a public hearing and we were denied that. Just hours after bulldozers began clearing the land in December, a federal judge ordered the work stopped, ruling the plaintiffs are likely to succeed on the merits and the environment likely to suffer permanent harm. But the feds Wednesday argued that oversight will protect the Rocklands tract. A government attorney saying the project is not likely to destroy the continuation of any species. Irreparable harm is not going to occur. The developer's attorney noted the majority of the Rocklands will be preserved. Critics say they've been hearing that argument for a long time. The Tropical Audubon Society has been fighting on behalf of the Pine Rocklands habitat for at least 20 years. Environmentalists want a full trial on whether this will be allowed to become this more urban sprawl. Magistrate Judge William Turnoff heard arguments in court today. He will consider the matter and recommend to the circuit court, the district court, this month whether that restraining order should be lifted and the project go on or a full trial be held. We're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.